Hello students, my name is Mr. Rara, and today we're going to teach you how to turn in worksheets that you wrote on in digital form. Now, the in-class method is easy. You write on your worksheet and you hand it into your teacher. You can't do that in this situation, so today I'm going to show you how. And there's two methods on how to do that. So let's go over the first method. In this first method, you're going to need to have three things. You're going to need to have the worksheet that you've written on. You're going to need to have a phone with a camera. And you're going to need to have your Chromebook. Additionally, and this is completely optional, but your teachers will love you if you get this, on your phone, get a phone scanner app. A phone scanner app will, you'll be able to take pictures of, of your worksheet front back and it'll convert into a PDF file. Now, the first thing you need to do is take a picture of your worksheet with your phone. Then you're going to email those pictures to your school email. If you use the scanner app, um, just email the PDF file to your phone once you've taken all the pictures. The next thing you need to do, once you've emailed yourself pictures of your worksheet, you're going to go to your email. Your email might look a little different than mine, but you're going to notice that you should have something that says me on it because you emailed it to yourself. So click on that email. You're going to see a thumbnail preview. You can even click on it to see it. What I want to do, though, is I want to go to this little download arrow and download it onto my computer. On a Chromebook, you're going to see this download manager come up right here. And that's going to show you that it was downloaded. From there, we still need to turn in our work. Go to Google Classroom. We're going to click on a class. I put myself inside a math class. I'm going to go to classwork. And I am going to go to the worksheet that I need to turn in. So from here, I'm going to add our create. And I'm going to click down to where it says file. Because I downloaded the file onto my computer, I'm going to put select files from your device. And if it's not already so, you should click on this download. And then the last thing you downloaded was my worksheet. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to upload the file. And I turn it in. I can always preview the image to make sure it's the right one. And I turn it in. And now I've successfully turned in my worksheet. If I have more than one image, I just need to add every single image individually. So to do that, I'll unsubmit it. I'll add or create. Go to file again, select from my device, say this is page two, I'll open. I can add more files at once. And so if I have five pictures that I need to add, oh, let's just stop there. I'm going to upload that. It'll upload all of those. And I have four image files waiting for it to upload. Then I'll just turn it in. And that's how I do it. And that's how I turn in work method one. Now we're going to talk about method two. For method two of turning our work, all we need is our worksheet and a Chromebook. First, we need to go to Google Classroom. So use your waffle and navigate to Google Classroom. Once all of your classes load, you're going to go to the class where you need to turn in your work and click on that classroom, click on classwork, and find the assignment that you need to turn work into. 
it will expand. You need to view assignment. Once again, you're going to go to add or create. And this time, you're going to create a Google drawing. The Google drawing will be created. It might pop up. It might not. If it does not, click on it. Once the Google drawing loads, you want to input your worksheet pictures into this document. The way you do that is by going to cl insert, click on the image options, and scroll all the way down to camera. From here, this is what I look like. But from here, you want to take pictures of your worksheet. So you go ahead. Take a picture and insert. To crop yourself out of the picture, double click on the picture and that gives you the cropping option. Minimize it and then click off of it. You should make the image a little bit larger, but do realize that the image quality will be low. Repeat this process for each page of the worksheet. Once you have all your pages in, navigate back to your Google Classroom. Click the Turn In button. And now you have turned in your real life worksheets in digital form.